Hello, everybody. How are you today? I am great, even though um, we could always come up with reasons why things aren't absolutely fantastic, but I'm going to choose to be in absolute fantastic mode today. Um, <laughs> Uh, and those of you who know me know that uh, I have a good cackle to go along with it. <laughs> um, okay, so today I want to challenge each and every one of you to do something um, that helps to create more goodness, more creation of happiness, more, higher vibrations, happiness, love, connectedness. Like, let's get there. And I'm going to share a story um, that uh, happened to me on Saturday that transformed, I think, the uh, viewpoint of my children as well as a friend's child and um, and another person's life who I don't even know her name. And, and I would challenge each and every one of you to do something like this today so that we can make an impact. Hey, Miss Anna, how are you? Beautiful. Um, okay, so here, here's my story that I wanted to share. Uh, go to Target. I need to get a couple things because it was my uh, six-year-old, soon seven birthday, and this woman approached me as we were walking into Target, and she looked normal, and she, you know, I didn't feel threatened whatsoever, and she just said, ma'am, while you're in there, um, would you be willing to help me by just, I have five boys, and we're really struggling and if you could buy an extra loaf of bread or if you could I would really 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 appreciate it and um, I said to her I go tell me about your boys and my kids were like mom what are you doing you know and I was like because I, I tend to talk to anybody and um, I said tell me about your boys. And she goes, well, I have a 17 year old, a 16 year old, and she started down all the way down to a 10 month old. And I said, well, I'm, I, I said, I'm sorry you're going through hard times. I said, what is it that um, you need the most? And she said, a loaf of bread would be great. And uh, what my kids don't know is that uh, I, in my life, which has motivated me to be the kind of person that I am, is that I was that person who needed that loaf of bread growing up. I was that person who my mom would say some prayers and then all of a sudden like groceries would show up at our front door and we don't know who put them on our porch. Um, there were 12 of us children growing up and there were times when um, the, the school raised money for a family and all of a sudden I realized that the gym shoes that my classroom raised money for were sitting on my brother's feet, that we were the family that people were um, buying for. So I had multiple instances in my life where people extended themselves. Like I, I had a family of 12 uh, who are all now grown adults adopted us as their family because we were one of 12 and each one of those kids bought us something that year for Christmas. So like I've had these experiences. So when this lady walked up to me at Target, um, she said, uh, I could just use a loaf of bread. And so we walked in the store I told my kids to take this cart and that we were going to have, we we're going to put our stuff in like the child seat because we were only coming for a couple things and we were going to go buy this woman some stuff. And, um, and so we filled up and my kids had so much fun. They, um, they're like, mom, the kids need peanut butter and jelly. Mom, the kids need goldfish. Mom, get them some pizza. Mom. And so we literally, um, and, and 10 month old, you know, I go, you know what? She needs diapers and she needs wipes. And um, I spent $200. And when I walked out, I had two bags around my one arm and I'm pushing the cart. And the woman was standing there next to my car and she said, um, oh, okay, uh, thank you. I really appreciate the bag. She thought the bags were her and she thought the cart was mine. And when I pushed the cart towards her and I said, no, here, this one's for you. You guys, if you could have seen the look on this lady's face, um, and and then I watched my kids and my my friend's kid, and I'm looking at them, and they're just like, like their mouths were just like, and and the woman is having this breakdown, and she's just like, for 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 me, and like she couldn't even talk. 
So my point in this is that we can look at all the things going wrong right now, and I am, I am, I am absolutely a person that I do not like to give out freebies if people don't have skin in the game because I'm a big believer that you have to work at fixing your own life, that I'm not a big believer in bailouts, even though people need a helping hand, um, that at some level you have to fix your own life. Um, I, I, cause I know I, I transitioned mine in a big way. Um, it's just how I'm wired. And, but this particular woman, um, today I'm going to challenge each and one of you because one, it was a lesson to my children that we are all one and we are all connected. And you may have a different opinion than somebody. You may have um, a different way of seeing the world and you may completely disagree with somebody. But I'm telling you, I'm one of 12 kids and I have never, ever, ever hit rock bottom because not only did I have my 11 brothers and sisters and my parents, my mom was nine, one of nine. My dad was one of six. I had lots of aunts and uncles and tons of cousins. And you know what? Out of all of us, which is like, you could count them all up, it's like 100 people and like just my, my grandparents on down. Um, we never, ever hit rock bottom because of the big, beautiful hearts of all the people in my family. And you know what? This is what the world needs now. The world needs everybody to turn on their hearts. The world needs everybody to have love and compassion. The world needs everybody to stop fighting, stop bickering, and stop putting people down and stop judging each other. Think of the woman who I handed the cart to after walking out of Target. You know what? Her kids can eat now for probably three, four weeks, and she has diapers for a month for her 10-month-old. You know what? We're all one. We're all connected. We all have human hearts. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what race you are, and I don't care what country you're from. It's about the fact that we're all one, and we're all going to do it differently because we all came here to give unique gifts in different ways for different people. But I challenge you today, and maybe one day each this week, do one thing out of your comfort zone and do one thing that actually makes an impact on somebody else's heart in a positive way and not in a negative way. So that is my challenge to you. And you know what, honestly, I'd love to hear all about it because I believe that the more we pay close attention to the stories and the things that we share, the more it's gonna spread more good and it's gonna raise everybody out of this pile of poop that we're sitting in right now. All right, well, I love you all and I hope you have the best day ever. And you know what, spread some more good. Love you all. Bye.